And that's the reason why he went down, which it may be the reason. And now we get pulled down without an explanation, without a warning. And then nowadays we have like a team, we have like a squad. And so we were able to poke around and I think we ended up finding some dude off the internet that poked around enough and found out why we got canceled. Mark Bell and Chris Bell, the Bell brothers, um, they have been a fixture in the bodybuilding community for over a decade. I mean, and who can forget, you know, Chris's documentary, Bigger, Stronger, Faster, which I know influenced so many of us in this industry. And it's a, it's a movie that we all watch to this day, you know. And these are some of the nicest people, you know, that I've met in this industry. Um, in an industry full of pieces of shit, money-hungry people, um, munchkins, all kinds of different sneaky people in this industry. These are two of the great guys in it. And unfortunately, Mark's channel, uh, the podcast, one of the biggest podcasts in this industry, over 650,000 subscribers at the time, has been terminated. Uh, YouTube has removed their channel. And it's a ha to have YouTube strike me down the way that they did and strike down my team and strike down Mark Bell's power project is shocking in a lot of ways. And I'm not shocked easily. You guys know I practice equanimity, being even. And I'm still even. This isn't moving me too far one way or the other. However, I think it's an injustice. I think it's bullshit because we didn't get a warning. We didn't, we weren't aware of an infraction. They just pulled us and I'm not looking for anybody to cry with me. Like I said, it's one of the nightmares of being a YouTuber is waking up and seeing your channel gone, especially when you don't realize what it is you did. And again, it couldn't have happened to a better group of people. And I spoke to Mark about it when it happened. And I spoke to Chris. I always speak to Chris. You know, me and him are friends. Uh, we always talk about doing a project together, which I'm sure one day is going to happen. Uh, these people are nice people. And you never want to see something like this happen to, to, to a nicer group of people. Um, even people that I don't like, I don't want to see their channels going down. Um, but it's something that can happen. And, you know, a lot of us creators, again, are scared of something like this happening. But we have to understand, you know, and I've spoken about this before. YouTube is the number one network in America. And think about this. This is not 2008 YouTube. Okay. Think of national TV. You can't go on national TV and say and do whatever it is you want because you can't be on TV if you do that. Well, the same thing goes for YouTube. If we want to be on here, we have to play by their rules. And the biggest issue I find is that most creators, they don't pay attention to the rules. I read these new policies like it's the Bible. This is my business. This is my responsibility to keep up with this because I don't want this happening to me. And I try to keep, you know, my friends that are in this industry updated on the policies, but it's our responsibility to do it. It's like when you drive down the road, okay? If you're going 60 in a 40 or 75 in a 40 like me because I'm an asshole, okay? If you get stopped by the police and he comes and says, hey, you're going a little bit fast. What's wrong with you? Where are you going in a rush to? And you say to him, listen, I don't know the law. I didn't know it was... 40 miles an hour in here. He's going to say, it doesn't matter if you know it or not. It's your responsibility to know it. Well, the same thing applies to being on YouTube. And it's, it's a responsibility of us creators. This is our business. This is how we make a living. It's our responsibility to know these rules if we want to be on here. Over here. Now, Mark thinks, because uh, I spoke to him and I saw his video that he posted, he feels that 
he had a link, okay, posted on some of his videos that was against YouTube policies. They were selling pharmaceuticals without a prescription. And I'm not going to get into the details on what kind of sites those are. You guys, if you're part of this industry or you know anything about bodybuilding, you know what I'm talking about. And I'm not going to put it on here to get flagged. Uh, but he feels like some of his videos had those links. And that's the reason why he went down, which it may be the reason. And now we get pulled down without an explanation, without a warning. And then nowadays we have like a team, we have like a squad. And so we were able to poke around and I think we ended up finding some dude off the internet that poked around enough and found out why we got canceled or whatever you want to call it. And it's because we had a link in one of our podcasts. I have a newer podcast that I do with my buddy, Kenny Williams, a young bodybuilder. And we call that podcast anabolic activities. Which, hey, there ain't nothing wrong with that. Things being a little anabolic, right? Um, but I guess YouTube has a policy against directing people to any links where there's potential stuff being sold there that doesn't have a prescription. So to me, in my conspiratorial ways, I kind of think it's a little bit of a big thing. I'm not sure if I'm going to get struck by lightning or if this feed's going to get shut down. But I think that's where some of it stems from, to be honest with you. Um, this was something that I wasn't really aware of. I didn't know that that was a policy. Um, but it could be also deeper than that. And I think it's important that I go over the policies and explain to you guys as creators and as the audience too, to know what to expect from creators on the content they can or can't do um, to understand those policies, which I'm gonna go over with you. Now, Mark's channel was taken down with no warnings, no strikes, nothing. And YouTube, in their policies, they can actually do that. If it's an extreme violation, which they deem to be extreme, they could take you down with no warning, no strike, no nothing. And this happens as we've seen with so many channels recently. Now, this is the email that Mark received from YouTube when his channel went down. It says, content intending to sell certain illegal regulated goods or services such as drugs or pharmaceuticals without a prescription is not allowed on YouTube. That includes directly selling and providing links to sites that sell regulated goods and services. So that's the email that YouTube sent over to Mark. Now, when I was saying it could be deeper than this, don't forget, and I'm, I'm going to be careful with the words I even say here because I don't want to go against the policies by even bringing it up, but Kratom is gray area. And I know that they talk about and they promote Kratom on their podcast as well. And um, that's a gray area. So that's something that could be considered a drug as well. So that could have been one of the reasons, not only. Now I'm going to show you uh, something in the YouTube policies that's very important, which could be part of the reason why his channel went down. And also, again, for the creators to see what's going on here. So if you go here, here's the policies themselves. These are the YouTube guidelines. All right. If you go here and you take a look, all right, I went over uh, the link. You see how it says here, um, pharmaceuticals without a prescription. That's that's what I was talking about before. That's what he got in his email. So it's most likely this. However, uh, it could have been the Kratom. And then lastly, which over here, they also go over here, policies apply to external links. So if you're linking anything, and that's, you gotta be careful, you know, and I want to bring up, you know, my sponsors that are on this channel, I'm so careful with them. I keep on checking up on them because it's my responsibility to make sure they're not doing anything under board. If they do anything under board, they're not going to be sponsoring this channel anymore. And that's our responsibility. So as, as a creator, you have to be responsible with what you have promoting, uh, even, you know, brand deals. You know, you get some brand deal. It's a new person. You know, you don't, you don't even have a uh, history with that company. You better check what they're doing because this can affect you and your channel. Uh, but lastly, this is something important that I want to bring up. You see here, it says steroid use, non-educational content that shows how to use steroids for recreational purposes like bodybuilding. Now, bringing up this topic as bodybuilding, I'm a bodybuilding channel, fitness channel. There's many of them. I don't talk about um, steroids in a, in a way that's educational at all. I bring it up as a topic of discussion, 
but I never believed in bringing it up to influence anybody, especially kids, in taking them. And there's been people on, on YouTube that have made a living, a really good living, millions of dollars, off of talking about steroids online. And even though they say it's educational, there's a fine line with what's considered influencing people. And YouTube looks at this and looks at your content. And if they feel it's influencing people, influencing kids to, to do these things, it's not considered educational anymore. And it's a fine line. You're walking a fine line when you're making that type of content, which is why I always stayed away from it. I've been on TRT for over 10 years, and it's done so much for my life to make me feel younger, stronger. And I recently signed with a company called Live Forever Health. I'm going to put a link in my coupon code in the bio. And this company, you know, everything's been so seamless, you know, and I tested this out. You know, I would never recommend things to people unless I'm using it, unless I tested the whole process. And the process couldn't be easier. They sent me a kit to send my blood back in the mail. Uh, they got my results. We went, I met with the doctor, with the nurse practitioner. We went over my results. And then they gave me my prescription, sent me the testosterone in the mail. So it couldn't be easier. And again, this is a company I trust that I actually did the whole process with and pricing is competitive similar to everybody else who does it but this is a company that I use and a company again that I trust. So it could have been one of those those reasons and YouTube is never going to exactly tell you what it is you did uh, which I wish they did because I think it can help other people uh, you know in, in, in preventing doing uh, the same mistakes as somebody else did preventing their channel from going down. Uh, but you know, it's sad, you know, I always say this, you know, you don't want to see people lose, lose their livelihood, especially good people like that, but it's a lesson, you know, it's a lesson for all of us. Again, like I said, to keep up on the policies and as an audience, you guys watching, knowing what to expect from us as creators and, and understanding that we can't just do whatever we want on here. We have to follow these guidelines if we want to be on YouTube.